Have you come across Google Notebook LM yet? If not, keep watching because it's completely blown my mind and I think you'll feel the same way. I'm Joga Conga, English language teacher, teacher educator, CELTA and MA tutor, and I run a website at elttraining.com where I make video-based materials for English language teachers at all stages of their careers. If you haven't seen it, have a look. And if you find this useful, do give it a like and subscribe. I post something new every week. So this week I discovered Google Notebook LM well, actually, my son showed it to me. He's studying in Taiwan and just casually mentioned it in conversation. And I have to say, I was pretty amazed. It's free. You just go in through your Google account and it's designed as a study tool. You can upload PDFs or other documents and it'll give you a, a summary and you can ask it to pull out FAQs or create a timeline of events. My son's studying history, so that's really useful for him. But to be honest, there's nothing particularly new there. ChatGPT can do that sort of thing too, can't it? What really caught my attention was the fact that Notebook LM can turn your text into a podcast. Yes, a podcast. You upload your material and it generates a conversation between two AI voices, a man and a woman, chatting about whatever you've uploaded. They both have rather generic American accents, but we'll forgive them for that. I tried this with a paper from Michael Swan, Seven Reasons Not to Teach Grammar, classic stuff. And the AI pair had a really good old natter about it. I'll put a link to that below if you fancy listening to it. I also gave it a list I'd written about why preparing for CELTA is a good idea. And it turned that into another podcast. That link's down there too, if you're curious. I was really blown out of the water though by how natural the conversation style was. It's very believable. Today we're gonna to be tackling something that might sound a little daunting to some of you out there. Uh, we're talking about preparing for the CELTA. Oh yeah, that's a big one. It is a big one. And you know, you probably already know out there listening that CELTA has this kind of reputation right. for being pretty intense. It does, yeah. It's like a trial by fire for aspiring English teachers. Exactly. But that's not even the cleverest bit. If you click this button here, you can interact with the podcast. It's like talkback radio. You can click join, tell them your comment or ask a question, and the hosts respond. I tried it out and corrected them when they got the CELTA acronym wrong. Obviously, I couldn't let that slide. And they actually adjusted their conversation. Here, listen. That's the certificate in English language teaching to adults. Right. You know, if you're thinking about doing this. Oh, hey there. What's up? I just want to let you know that uh, CELTA used to be called the Certificate in English Language Teaching to Adults, and that's why it's got that acronym. But actually, now it's called the Certificate in English, the Certificate of Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Well, that's a really interesting point. Yeah. I didn't realize that the name had changed slightly. That's good to know. So it's the Certificate of Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages now. Okay. So it's still CELTA, but it's technically a different meaning. Right. That's good to know. And I guess it still applies because we are talking about teaching English. Exactly. It's just a little update to the terminology. Okay. So the question is, how could we use this for English language teaching? I'm still thinking about this, but here's one idea. I think it could be really useful for higher level learners as extra listening practice. So we all know it's easier to understand a listening text when you already know what it's about. There's plenty of research on that and it's why we activate schemata and do warm-up tasks before listening in class. I've definitely experienced that myself when learning other languages too. 
So what about this? Take a text that you've used in class, something they've read, discussed, done comprehension questions on, could be an authentic newspaper article or even something out of your course book and put it into Notebook LM. Then generate the podcast and send them the link. It seems to make them about 10 to 15 minutes long. So I think it's not great for the classroom, but it's fantastic for extra practice at home. They could listen to it on the bus or washing up or whatever. And because they already know the content, I think they're much more likely to be able to follow it, even though the language is you know, completely authentic. You could even suggest that they interact with the hosts and see how they get on. So that's my idea. Give it a go and let me know how you go in the comments. And if you think of any other ways to use it, or if you're already experimenting with Notebook LM, I'd love to hear how it's working out for you. And as always, if you're looking for more ideas and resources, have a look at elttraining.com. Plenty there to help you on your teaching journey. See you next time.